don't stash Please, soon as I nut, it don't be Got M's in the back like this and me Party of glasses, I won't even peek at you Yellow Ferrari like Pikachu I got him waiting and watching what he gon' do Tryna do what I do, tryna steal my moves 25 on the floor, I need a pair of shoes Same price, I can make the next come finish you Know you be in charge, yeah, do it like a voodoo Real dope boy, on the thousand and he do I'm feeling ready I'm not feeling that myself. I'm feeling very tired. I am tired. <laughs> so that might come across in the way that I'm training. I don't know. My energy levels might pick up. A question that I'm you know not just to answer this right now before we actually leave is what headphones do I use? So I recently got these, these are Sony MX4. So these are the headphones that I use. Uh, I'm just gonna put that out there. They do cost um two heads. I think it's an investment, honestly. I I closed my eyes and said, listen, I deserve it. So these are what I use. These are my babies. These are noise cancellation um, headphones. So I, when I put these on, and I, before I even turn on the music, I literally cannot hear a thing outside of me. Like, absolutely nothing. So you're able to adjust it. You can turn it off. You can do whatever you want. We're going to do the workout. My ladies that are afraid to train a body, this is for you. And for my ladies that think that lifting weights is going to make you bulky, I want you to take a look at my body. You're going to see. I've been lifting weights for at least three years. It's never giving bulky babe. It's giving muscle money. Okay? It's giving she's sexy and she's strong. It's giving you should be lifting weights. If like when you ask me questions like, oh how do I lose weight? How do I gain weight? Oh, how do I lose weight? How do I build muscle? How do I grow my bum? How do I lift weights? You're not gonna look like a man. You couldn't look like a man even if you tried. Because you don't even have the hormones that you need to look like a man. As well as unless you're taking zero then that's a different story. Don't be afraid to go into the weight section of the gym. That's where you should be 50 or 60% of the time in this gym because that's where this, the, 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 the juice is up, okay? You want to be in the weight section and lifting weights. So it's going to be very simple but very effective in terms of building that nice little bag. If you want an outdoor shape and all of that kind of stuff, you have to build. You know what I'm saying? You have to build the muscle. So you, you want to build your back to be a little bit wider. Your back being wider does not make you look the, like the hug, they like don't like no, give the illusion of an hourglass shape and make your waist smaller and all of that good stuff. So, this is the workout for that. I'm in my Gymshark fit, I'm feeling like top of the world. Maybe not really top of the world, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fit check. I'm wearing the Gymshark crop hoodie and the color cherry brown, and then inside, I'm wearing the Gymshark. This is from the camera collection. Why do my boobs look big? What's happening here? <laughs> then I was wearing the Gymshark shorts. These are from the animal collection. Very nice. You can roll them down all up to you. Obviously, I'm not trying to get really up to you. This is the back. Very cute, very good. Very free. Got a scrunch, a little bit of scrunch going on here, but nothing too obvious. Everyone that shot using my leg, I just want to tell you right now that I love you, okay? I love you and I'm obsessed with you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Kisses to you. I think I'm going to do another giveaway just for people that are like shopping at my leg. Also, side note, I'm going to be doing Vision by Mungik Mede on my Instagram. I'm going to talk about that soon. Basically, we were creating vision boards together because in this very first year that I ever created my vision board, I have achieved 98% of everything that I put in my vision board, which is mind blowing. Like some of the things are like insane. So I'm so excited. But that's go to my Instagram for all of that information. Right now, we're gonna get those gains. Period. Let's go. <laughs> okay so let's kick things off with the warm-up now this video that you guys are seeing right now uh before this i had already warmed up and actually started training in a different gym um and then i just happened to change my mind <laughs> and i just decided oh, no i'm gonna change gyms so i was training at my home gym at first and then i decided to move to a different gym because i didn't like the lighting and because i was training quite late and this is like a friday evening which i absolutely love because no one is at the gym so perfect like i will all like it's just perfect and so i started to change location so I, I had already warmed up and i just didn't see the need to do the warm-up all over again but i just decided to do a couple of exercises for you guys just to show you what my warm-up kind of looks like um if you would like for me to do a full upper body warm-up do let me know then i'll include it in the next uh upper body training video but yeah this is uh what i did and as well as i use a resistance band for most of these exercises because it's always better that way 
and so i just did what i could with what i had because this gym does not offer or have um readily available resistance bands so with your upper body warm-ups you want to focus on your particularly your shoulder mobility and so focusing on your rotator cuff and your scapula and that is through the use of dynamic stretches as well as i add in the jumps to increase your body temperature and then we also add in the band to create some resistance with these exercises Now for the main workout, the first exercises that we're going to do are going to be somewhat of a superset, but you don't have to do these in a superset. A superset basically means doing one exercise after the other without any rest in between. So I was doing the Superman holds as well as push-ups. I like to do push-ups at the very beginning of my workout because that is when I have the most strength. Uh, whereas doing them at the end when you're barely like you're all worked out, your muscles are exhausted and you can barely get a push-up up. And so I do these two exercises exercises one after the other as well as this is some sort of a warm-up because it also warms up your um shoulders as well as your pectorals and as well as your back so i do a lot of push-ups because push-ups are really beneficial when it comes to your back mainly just your upper body muscles really so if you're not doing push-ups i highly recommend adding them in and let me tell you something babe you're not going to get push-ups unless you do them so when you avoid them you're not going to get stronger so the way that you get push-ups is by actually doing the exercise and so this is when i'm adding a weight plate on my back because i'm trying to add more resistance basically to make them harder why am i doing that lord knows why i don't even know why i'm trying to kill myself as you can see i'm at failure and i was really trying to push myself because this exercise is so beautiful for your chest muscles your back muscles and your shoulder muscles please start adding push-ups into your workout now moving on to the next exercise we have our shoulder shrugs now i like to do these seated because it allows for me to focus all the tension in my traps whereas instead of like using your momentum to move your shoulders and so you have you want to have a slight bend in your elbows and you want to drive your um, shoulders up and remembering that with these kind of exercises you do not need to go too heavy you don't need to, it's not about going as heavy as possible in all of that because if you're not able to do the exercise correctly you are losing out on all the bend benefits of the exercise if you're not um if you're trying to go heavy and not doing them or performing them in the right way and so i supersetted my shoulder shrugs with the bent over rows and i was going for 12 kgs this was my first set now with this exercise just to let you guys know something that i'm doing wrong you don't want to drop your head all the way down you want to make sure that your spine is aligned and so just try to lift up your chin just a little bit to make sure that there's no um your head isn't hanging down you know what i'm saying like you can see from the beginning how i was doing it and so with these ones we are trying to the way that i like to think about it is bringing your shoulder blades together and the back to feel that contraction and then release with all these exercises you do not need to rush through them take your time with this exercise to feel it in the right muscle group so that you're getting the best out of the exercise and then i went on to use my 14 kg dumbbells again same movement initiating it <laughs> initiating it properly it is very important for you to perform the exercise correctly so that you can reap all the benefits of each exercise look at look at the muscle definition this i think my traps just like to show off because this is this is a bit much <laughs> I feel like my headphones were sitting right on top of my top earring so that was really irritating my ears so i decided to remove them uh yeah and someone came up to me in the gym this is the side of the gym that i absolutely live for and basically what he was saying was he was asking if i compete and i'm like sir no 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 we're not at that level and he's like i need you to look at your body and he, i told him he asked how old i was and i told him i'm 23 he's like that's mad the fact that she looked and i'm like oh my god stop <laughs> and as you can see i'm such an awkward human being and i'm not i'm not awkward but I'm, I'm i'm shy like naturally and so i'm just standing there like okay okay cool okay i hear you now i'm sitting here i'm thinking to myself maybe i should compete what do you guys think let me know in the comment section should i compete should i do that that would be crazy for me but i like to take risks i like to say to do things just to say i did it and i you know so i'm thinking about it now let's move on to the next exercise back to the shoulder shrugs this was my fourth set and so again i supersetted this with the bent over rows and with the bent over rows i upped the weight with each set which was just beautiful because i was dying but 
we're looking good. <laughs> With this next exercise we have our single arm rows now the reason why i'm using a bench and if you're training at home i would suggest either using a stool or possibly the wall and the reason why i'm using the bench to kind of rest on it on one side is because that allows you to use your muscles to drive the res basically to drive the resistance or to move the weight whereas if you're just standing sometimes your momentum can be the driving force and that's not what we're trying to achieve that's not what we're trying to do we're trying to use the muscles so that we can grow them so use the actual muscles that we're trying to work and which is why i like to use this um way of setting it up to do my single arm rows I cannot tell you how hot i was feeling at this point like everything just felt like the room felt like a heater and so i'm like okay we're just gonna take this hair wrap it in some way and just put it up i cannot handle because that sweat and i sweat a lot like i've mentioned this a million times i sweat like there's no tomorrow so i was like let's tie that babe up and let's get to work and that's exactly what we did just to give you guys a little tip when it comes to me Mainly your back movements your muscles are much stronger during the eccentric um, part of the movement and so that is basically when the muscle lengthens and so in this point basically when the back lengthens so when i'm dropping that dumbbell that is the eccentric movement and then when i'm bringing it up that's the concentric movement and so to reap all the benefits of the exercise that we're trying to do especially when it comes with rows don't just roll and thinking about it as i'm just trying to bring the weight up and back down weight up back down. that makes you will lose out on a lot of the benefits of the actual exercise so during the eccentric phase of the exercise that means the lowering try to slow it down and control your muscle as it lowers and then contracting when it comes back up and that will allow you to reap all the benefits and really 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 get that sexy back like your muscles will be so defined it'll be insane okay so remember those things as you do your back movements or just generally when you do your exercises the more money make more rain this next movement is called the seated good mornings and so with this one what we're targeting is your lower back i feel like a lot of people leave out the lower back when we're training um alternatively to this you can do the hyper extensions but make sure that you're performing them correctly and feeling the movement where we're trying to um target and so with these you want to have your feet wide apart and before you initiate the movement you're going to take a deep breath in so you're going to inhale then perform the movement then when you come up you're going to exhale remember to brace your core before you initiate the movement and make sure that we're feeling it muscle to mind connection feeling it in the muscles that we're trying to work i just want to pop in here just to say to my ladies um because as you can see i'm in the weight section and this is in the very front of the gym just to say that first of all i think first things first is not calling it a men's section because i think the more we call it a men's section the more intimidating it feels to be in this part of the gym is just the weight section and so this does not mean to say i do not have i do not get gym anxiety because most of you guys do know um or that i do not feel nervous and things like that i absolutely do however the more you put yourself in that space the better it becomes for you the better you feel because now you know where everything is you feel more comfortable you know what you're there to do and you do just that i promise you it does get better so keep trying to put yourself out there and yeah I then decided to do the last two sets with assistance or an assisted lateral raise as you can see me looking at you like this it is because it took me i cut out a huge portion of this video let me tell you a huge portion because it took me 15 minutes plus to convince myself to do it because i have seen way, way too many videos of people falling over like when the bench is not really positioned properly and then you're hitting face first on the ground now i intend on using this gym for quite a while so we're not trying to have any of those kind of moments eventually i got it and i decided okay cool let's, let's just do it let's just do it i feel like lateral raises will always humble you because it's such an unnatural movement and so it it feels like it, it kind of reminds you how not so strong you are you know like it humbles you but i just do them anyways i, I just do them anyways you know um even if it takes me 10 15 20 minutes to set it up i would get it done I told you that 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 I told you that
moving on to the last part of the workout at this point i was really feeling myself like genuinely like listen i just killed this upper body workout i felt really good like my muscles my entire body just felt really good so definitely hyping myself up as you can see the moods change the mood change at this point you know even the music was giving play some mcmeal and i promise you won't regret it but moving on to the core circuit so we have knee raises with knee raises you want to make sure that your core is engaged the entire time so engage your core first and then lift up your knee i like to hold it for a second or two um at the top but at this point i was extremely drained so yeah this is what it was looking like and then we move on to dead bugs these are such an underrated core exercise um yeah sometimes just ditch the crunches and just go for these because these force you to really use your core and not just like your ab muscles but your core muscles which is more than just your ab muscles like your obliques um your glutes and all of it and so as you can see i'm pissed at this workout but um we gotta keep moving we we have to see it through my boy so we finished off with the 12 second v hold uh, with the dumbbells at the top if you feel like this is too difficult you can ditch the dumbbells and hold at the top if you feel like that's still difficult you can actually lie back um and have your back flat on the ground but then raise up your feet in this way and it will still hit the same muscles and see although my face looks like this i promise i was so happy on the inside like i was i genuinely enjoyed this workout if you do give it a try do let me know i know you're gonna love it you're gonna hate me but you're gonna love it and it will hit those back muscles really good and your core muscles and this is me now getting dressed and getting ready to get the heck out of here and go get a shower and have my dinner Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.